Hello everybody, my name is Jurassic Insider, and welcome back to a new episode of Jurassic World Game. And so today, I've been advised, or I've been told, about the the new Gyrosphere event. So, after they did the Gyrosphere update, they added the Earth Day Tour, which is just supposed to be like a Gyrosphere event, like just a normal Gyrosphere event. But the big catch is, you can do it as many times as you want, which is not very normal, and it's free. And as you can imagine, that that sounds very exploitative, and it is. And the reason I haven't been doing this is, A, I haven't been playing the game the last couple of days. Well, I, I played the game yesterday, but I haven't played the days before that. And also because it is actually genuinely one of the most exploitative things in the game, which I'm actually... I'll, I'll talk more about it in a second, but as you can see, the prizes are very, very good. You're most likely going to get an Ankylodocus or Gigantocephalus if you win. But the great thing is you don't even have to win. Even if you participate, you get coins and loyalty points, which is kind of crazy, which means you can just get a ton of them. So yeah, that's cool. And I'm actually going to do a lot of this off camera because right now I'm focusing a lot on the tournament, but I knew I had to record this because it's got to go somewhere on the channel. Right? I got to be able to like know that this is something that happened and just for future generations to know about the greatest exploit in the entire okay it's not actually it's just like there's been there was back in the day there was a lot of things like this but anyways we're gonna ch check this out and see if it's actually as good as it, as it is so we'll just start out by just trying to see like actually beat it you know try to get um good like try to do good uh, yeah <laughs> um jesus christ a level 107 trodon um yeah that seems like it's the best one then we got this one we might want to do a herbivore i think yeah, Pachyceratops is not bad. Then we'll do, um, hmm. We go with Velociraptor, level 362. And then definitely gonna go with the Amphibian here, which is Caprasuchus, Caprasuchus Gen 2. So that seems like a pretty good lineup. So let's see how hard this is. Ooh, interesting, interesting, okay. So I think we're gonna go for, um, uh, uh. Mm. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's the same battle every single time. It can't be, right? Um, let's do... Pteranodon, and then Pachyceratops, and then Caprasuchus. There are five of these battles, which is quite a bit, but uh, we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so just for a bit of context here, I spent a lot of this stuff over, especially all the battle stuff, just because I felt like that was getting a little bit repetitive at some point, and it was pretty much just a normal Gyrospear event, so I wanted to save you guys from the slack, so that's kind of why I just sped the entire thing up, and I didn't really have anything interesting to say, uh, or really do, so I just decided, what's the point if you know, talking, so, yeah, that's the reason why it looks like this, but I'm gonna b just add some basic narration, um, and the case in point that I, I kind of want to make about this whole thing is that it's not really as exploitative, at least in my opinion, as a lot of people were saying, and that's mostly because if you, okay, so you have two options, right? You can either choose to just keep losing over and over again because if you if you just enter and then die you get a participation award and if you win you obviously get the winner's award so i won once as you guys are going to see here and the reward is very good but the problem is it's just so tedious and so just meh and boring in my opinion that i didn't do it again just because of that simple reason like you'll see later and if you lose well it doesn't matter even if you lose the round right before the final round then you get the same prize so again literally doesn't matter what you do you're just, you're you're gonna get the same prize you're either lose or win so you might be wondering then then is losing a good thing well for me personally no it's not because you all you get is coin which uh, you don't really need coin and it's a small amount of that too and you do get 25 loyalty points. Now, the loyalty points was actually something very interesting. It's something I wanted to mention. But the thing about it is that you don't even get that many. 25 might sound like a lot. That's more than a mystery pack. But the problem with that is if you want to get a solid gold pack out of that, you have to do it 400 times. Like, just keep clicking in and out, in and out. Sure, if you're there for like an hour, you could probably get that done. But 
it's just not very fun to be honest it just kind of feels like clicking out and in and out and in it's not even like a fun exploit or exploit that can go that far i would hardly even call it an exploit at all which i think is the reason why it exists now to be fair this was even more broken beforehand in the first three hours of this event and i learned this from a fellow creator if i can remember his name i'll drop him in the comments but he's a fellow creator and he made a video and he talked about this whole thing and he was saying in the first three hours of this little exploit they basically it was like goaded like the participation prize had more things that had i think he even had bucks if i'm not mistaken or at least it had dna and food which is significantly better than just getting coins and you got a decent amount of loyalty points as well so very very good in that perspective and apparently it was like easier something else about it was kind of like super big exploitative and that's how a lot of people are able to get things i did not play this event in the first three days however so yeah that kind of made a difference but either way i don't know i'm just not i'm not going to be disappointed i'm never going to look back and be like man i really wish i did the jar sphere events and yeah yeah so it would have been so much so much fun but in reality I, I don't really think this was all that but i don't know you guys told me that was pretty good so maybe i'm missing out on something but i don't really care i don't i didn't really have the patience or the need to do this a billion times to get a max angle of it's it's just what's the point it's not it's i don't consider gyrosphere battles easy like i consider myself quite a professional at this game and i was i struggle with these things sometimes it's, it's just not fun. It's just not fun. And even if you want to heal the creature with the new buck method, which, by the way, sucks. It costs 300 bucks to get each creature back, which is terrible. And I'm sure swapping is still just as bad. This is not really a good improvement to Gyro Spears. I might talk about it in a future video when we do the free, uh, like, tutorial one at some point. But, I don't know. The only thing that I enjoyed out of doing these Gyro Spear battles, as always, is just using creatures that you don't already own, which is fun in a vacuum but yeah i don't know it's not really that much we did win this first battle like pretty easily it wasn't that bad but and then i tried to grind it a couple more times but it's just not just not all that fun to be honest so i kind of just left it at that if you got like 20 giganosepolises and like 10 ankylodocuses good for you great for you actually that's very good i'm glad you did it but it doesn't matter to me. It's not, I don't consider it an infinite glitch, and that's about it. Yeah, definitely not one of the best glitches. I can still think of a billion others in the past that were much better than this. And that's fine, obviously, an exploit doesn't need to exist. I just don't, I don't consider this an exploit at all, so. I don't really know where people are coming from, but, uh, again, that's just how you see it. However you want to use your time and do stuff, and yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else to tell you. And, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna go to wrap this one up. Maybe there's, I think there might be a couple more videos to the video. You'll about to see once I edit it all out. Sorry, editing has been very choppy, and these videos have been kind of choppy, and I'm not uploading them at the correct time. Like, by the time I'm doing this voiceover, it's after the entire thing has happened. And that's because, uh, YouTube is just not uploading these videos whatsoever. It's really annoying. Um, they'll upload, and then they'll get stuck on processing, and right now, I haven't made a solution. So, in about two, in, like, the past two days, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I, they just won't upload. So, I don't know if YouTube's being slow right now or definitely not my internet because I've, I've um, tried to upload them in multiple locations. You know, I did it here. I did it once at my friend's house. I tried doing it once at my cousin's house. Like, I tried it everywhere and it doesn't work. So, I don't know. YouTube uploading not working at all. Um, kind of sucks. Kind of crappy. That's about it, you know? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, never seen anything like it before, but hopefully I'll try to get it all to you I'll try to upload as many videos as possible to get all the Draco Ceratops tournament stuff out like it's I, I, I should be able to get this stuff out before it it's over like it's finished, but I, I just can't so it's kind of frustrating me, but um, and It's not like I can really do much. I just kind of have to be patient with it for now And we'll see what happens. I'm excited to get into good stuff new stuff finally because It's been too long. It really has been too long um and I'm excited to actually get into stuff that's interesting and fun. So, yeah, that's about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into this Gyrospear event. Definitely an interesting thing. Again, I wouldn't call this bad. The reason why I haven't called it bad is because in a vacuum, it's actually quite good. And if it was just a normal Gyrospear event, I would call it good as well. You got a super rare hybrid, which is very good. I mean, we've gotten ones in the past that give you a rare hybrid and they cost 500 bucks. So this one is actually particularly solid. It just doesn't have that repeatability, if you don't want to. And Gyrospears 
don't have that repeatability, despite the fact that it was free. You know, it just it didn't really make a difference to me. So anyways, I'll stop yapping, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, which hopefully will come out someday. I don't know, maybe, this is the, maybe I've uploaded all my videos onto YouTube, and like I just can't do it anymore because I'm just never going to be able to get YouTube to cooperate. But we'll see. We might. We might get lucky. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. This is Jurassic Insider, signing out.